This is a Cameroon Journal editorial titled Did Agobala and Fontaineba Ask Schools to Resume? Again, the subject is Did Agobala and Fontaineba Ask Schools to Resume? As Southern Cameroonians in the homeland went to bed Friday night, September 1st, a document professedly signed by Barrister Bernard Mona and his Francophone counterpart of the Cameroon Bar Association, Charles Chongang, went into circulation, allegedly at the request of Barrister Abo Bala and Dr. Fontem Neba. The press statement that is circulating only in the French language states categorically that Abo Bala and Fontem Neba have given Barrister Mona, their lead counsel, power of attorney to relate their position on school's resumption in the southern Cameroons. At press time, the Cameroon Journal was unable to expressly confirm that the press statement actually came from Barista Mona, and whether or not Barista Bala and Fontaineba actually endorsed it. However, after more than six attempts to reach Barista Mona by phone this morning yielded no fruit, we have reasons to believe that he actually authored and signed the document. After efforts to contact Mona by phone failed, we left him a message of inquiry on the social media and then waited and watched him actually log into his social media account to read the message. But even so, he didn't care to respond to our inquiry. But whether the statement is genuine or forged, and whether Bala and Fontem endorsed it or not, it speaks to a larger issue, that of the official position of Dr. Bala and Dr. Fontem on this very important subject of school resumption in the southern Cameroons. We are reminded that just before they were released on Thursday, August 31st, a statement from the Vice President of Kharkov Governing Council suggested that Bala and Fontaine were under severe pressure to sign an undertaking endorsing the resumption of schools in the southern Cameroons. Of course, there has been no counter to that statement, and we didn't expect that any would be coming from Bala and Fontaine right away considering the fact that they were barely released when the statement from Skaku Vice President was made public. But, how, but now that an official statement on the issue is apparently out from their lawyers, but left without the ability to authenticate it, it is absolutely incumbent upon Bala and Fontem to step out and clear every worry. The necessity and urgency of this lies in the fact that there are only two days left to school's resumption going by the calendar set forth by La Republique du Cameroon. Considering the strategic importance of this school subject in the southern Cameroon struggle, silence from Bala and Fontem right now will not be appreciated nor understood. In fact, Silence will only reflect consent to the Ben Monas document and position in question. At the Cameroon Journal, we are strongly appealing to Barista Bala and Dr. Fontem Neba to step out and declare their stance on this subject, just as Justice Anyapo's organization did yesterday. We are aware of what you have been through in the last nine months and the fact that you need time to recuperate and meet with family. It wasn't in our plan to want to bother you this early to begin publicly addressing issues now, but this moment in the struggle for which you served Jay for nine months is a make or mar moment. You cannot hold back any opinion that has the potential to determine the next direction in this struggle. Please, the Southern Cameroon's public, the supporters who stood behind you and kept your names in the limelight while you were locked up, are eager to know whether Ben Mona is speaking for the both of you or not. 
to come out of jail and haven't even had time to consult with leaders of the struggle. And the first thing that you do is ask for schools to resume tantamount to betrayal, not just to the cause, but equally to the parents of the students who have refused to send their children to school because of the very unscrupulous system you told them last December that it needs repairs. To come out and the first thing you do is order school resumption without even a formal statement of thanks to those who fought for your release and those who died defending the treason charges against you is an insult and a slap on their faces. If truly you both want schools to resume, what is going to happen to the other teachers that you both left behind bars in Kondenge and at the underground bunkers at the Gendarmerie headquarters in Yaoundé. And of course, all the others locked up in Boya and Bamenda. What is going to happen to them? And what about the other students still wasting behind bars? When and where are they to resume their own schools, if truly you want schools to resume? But it's a balay and Dr. Fontem. Southern Cameroonians want to hear from you now. Did you ask that schools should resume or not in the Southern Cameroons? We are not about judging you now. We have much to say once your position about the Ben Monas statement is made public. Again, this came to you from the Cameroon Journal. You can read the script of this editorial in our web on our website at the cameronjournal.com and you can reach us at editor at cameronjournal.com again the email address editor at cameronjournal.com thanks for listening today i am chris anu